Hi, so this week the project is moving this rock over to here. So, and also I want to mention that we want to move this safely. Uh, if you try or attempt to lift this rock up, you're going to seriously hurt your back. So we don't want to use any form of heavy lifting this one here. We're going to use it to something else. Now, if this was a hard ground like concrete or asphalt, I'd probably take a tool like this. So this is a, a trolley or a dolly, say here in America, and I would try to put this under here. Now lean it forward and lean it back, and then move it that way. So in this case, I don't have a hard ground. We have very soft ground, so. We're going to use another technique of using um, a fulcrum, uh, simple physics to lift it up. Um, and my girls are going to help me out. What? I have to do? I have to do most of this. I can barely yeah. even carry it. Yeah. Well, plan is that we're going to move that rock over there, and you girls are going to do most of the hard lifting or lifting that up. I can't. Do you see these muscles? They are, just fat. they are plenty big, they are plenty big. There's this much muscle and then there's this much fat. <laughs> Those muscles no. are plenty big. So, so what I first got here is some smaller rocks. The idea with this is I need some smaller rocks and use some long piece of wood or steel or whatever you have, any scrap piece of wood they have lying around. And the idea is we're going to get the, uh, the wood the metal underneath the rock and use this one as a pivot. So, for example, I have an old trampoline pole here. This will do just fine. And the idea is that we're going to get underneath here and just sort of lever it like that. Um, now, the thing that makes it easier is if the longer it is, the easier it is to do. So, luckily, these trampoline parts can come together. So, I'm going to, I'm going to join it together so it's even easier for the girls to move. So, there's one there. And then the idea, if I could just lean back, you'll see that I'm moving that already. All right, girls, let's see if that works. Pull on down. See, there we go. It's moving. Oh, see that? Okay, that moved a little bit. We need, we need a time and patience to do this. So we've moved a little bit. I want to keep going to over there. Um, the idea is going to just roll it and twist it a bit too. So we're going to lift this up. Hold it up. Alright, <laughs> I'm going to move the rocks closer. <laughs> Bethany's ones fell apart. Back in. Alright, let's go again, girls. There's one part. And the best time to twist the rock is when it's the the least amount of surface area so we're right on the edge so at this point there's not much surface here at the bottom and it's easy for me just to twist it like this so I'm going to twist it I'm going to go over to this area once again I'll set up the girls to pull it up again now all right Three, hey girls two. pull down very good. All right, pull back, girls. There we go. Good job. We're almost there. All right, so the rock isn't positioned exactly the way I want it. Um, this is sort of high point, and this is a lower point, and I want to reverse that around. So what I want to do is twist it. So the way to twist it is we're going to use one of them the fulcrums, the poles to twist it. So we'll do that now. We'll get Rocky we'll to do that from here. First. So this time I'm going to want to twist it this way. So we're going to choose the back corner here. And Brooke's going to lift it. And it's just going to, you see that this will just twist around a bit. Maybe she needs some help. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let me help you out. <laughs> All 
right, that wasn't meant to be like that. It worked. I'm going to keep on chipping away at that. Okay, pick it up, girl. I'm not even, it kind of. So yeah, it moved it a bit. Now. It moved. We'll have to just keep adjusting it. Come on, this side there. Let's go again, girls. So this one is about where I want it. This is the back that I want to go. So I've got the girls to... We're going to put these poles at the back and then you lift it up and then they help twist it. So let's pull back, girls. Okay, just a little bit. Can you hold like that? Okay, I'm going to just twist it a bit. Almost there. Good. I'm going to try to twist that a little bit. There we go. It's looking pretty good. Okay, girls. That's pretty good. Okay, um, try it one more time. So maybe a little bit more. Yeah, let's try a little bit more. Okay, girls. That's it. Stop there. So you can see that it's fairly level to the bricks that I wanted to. It's kind of like a sitting area. You sit up here. Um, it's not quite level, um, it's almost level. I'm going to push this side a little bit up higher and probably put a rock underneath there and then it'll just sit nice and level. Um, and that will be our kind of our rock seat as we're coming up here. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is... Rook's going to lift the whole rock up. I don't want her to twist it either way, it's in the right position. But when she does, I'm going to put a rock underneath there just so it elevates a little bit and it'll just be nice and smooth. Hoping this rock will be enough. So I'm going to first just help Brooke lift it up. A flat rock like this is always better than a round rock. This one is kind of slipping off. So what I might try to do is get hold both of them up so it doesn't twist and then see if Brooke can put it under. Okay. Got it. Put it a bit more Brooke. That's it. Alright, so this is about the level I want with the bricks here and about the, the head level I want there. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'll probably just cover that rock up a bit with dirt and, uh, and that's it. So to finish this off, I wanted to make sure it's not just level but also so it doesn't wobble at all. So you can see here I put a rock underneath there and also the original rock that you see there. I'll show you around the back just to make sure it doesn't move at all. Let's put another rock there. So now, but you can see that as I try to push that, it won't budge. So it's just nice and stable. And I think I'll just sort of cover this up with dirt, but you can even do bigger rocks. This one here I did a couple years ago. This is a big rock, but uh, what I did with this one here is just use more people, more help. So I think I use like three or four people with uh, the same idea, using those long poles as a fulcrum. And pivot it. Um, so make sure you make sure you think of safety first. Um, and using this this style, just take your time. Don't rush. Uh, you can move rocks quite large like this one safely. So we moved uh, quite a large rock without using any really extra effort. Just need to be careful. Take your time. Use little rocks. And thank you, girls, for helping me out with moving this rock. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. <laughs>